It's Shag, part 11. We're doing something new this time. Christ. The goal in this is complete the level with that stupid blob thing nobody likes. Sounds like a plan. This level resembles nothing at all, but it also has lots of cavemen in it who apparently are learning shapes by viewing them in the rock below. So apparently, everyone sees it in a 2D perspective in the Kirby universe according to my theory of education. So yay, I guess that's wonderful. Um, what's down here? This is a mystery which must be explored. Hey look, a lot of stars that were very hard to find. I totally deserve this one up. Yay, now I am 19 one-ups old. Whoa, computer lag skippery do. What is going on here, I do not know. It does not matter much. Hello, Rick. You're useless. Ah ha ha. Screw you. I need to use the mind-sucking blob powers to complete this level. For some reason. Hello, genie of the Waddle D. Can you grant me any wishes, or are you far too incompetent as a regular minion to be any more competent as a ghostly one? I doubt the answer is yes. Hello, Thwomp Analogs. You don't have any faces, and therefore you are less interesting than that of which you are analog of. Hello, Mr. Spike. I'm going to eat you for sake of having a power to have. That was probably kind of dumb. But I accept it because now I am 20 lives having... And everyone knows that having tons of lives is better than losing a lot of lives because you can't aim your falling because you're snowman plot against whatever. Oh dear god! Save state because of auto scrolling because that scares me. Hello, rolling rock. You are a beer and I am dead. Let's see if I restarted that section for goodness of all. Yes, I do! Yeah, our friggin'. No, you will not get a chance to spew fire at me. I will intercept your screen appearance and boo you off screen stage by entering you into my mouth clusters. Which isn't really an anatomy figure that exists in the real world, but I don't doubt that Kirby has some really bizarre things going for his biological compendium of structures. By Alfred T. Wishbone. What? <laughs> hey, look, it's Choo Choo, the thing I need to complete the level. Everyone is so happy about this occurrence that. Oh, it can climb on ceilings. That's kind of neat. Hey, look, I can climb on ceilings. But you're still a stupid blob thing. So shut up. Yeah. Hello, fire. I can be a blimp. Wee hoo. That's so exciting. I could eat a pants for breakfast. That doesn't make a lot of sense either. You can't defeat me, Mr. Rock. Um, whoa, that door is real. I never thought I would see a real door in this game. Hello. What's up? Up, oh, ate you. Ha uh, ha. Uh, actually, I just ate your broom and then you exploded because you hit a wall. You should build yourself to be less- ooh, lots of cool stuff. Let's see what all this cool stuff does. Phew, lasers! Alright. And this does... Snowball throwing! This is a weird attack. Alright, that's cool enough for me. I'll just keep that to demonstrate the power of snowballs! Because apparently they can destroy civilizations and things like that. So, let's see... We don't actually need any of these any powers to complete the section actually we should get broom because Choo Choo can't fly worth crap so we're going to fly for her with the auxiliary power of broomstick which is still a pointless power except you can kind of do that look let's give Kirby a f power that lets him fly but boss he can already fly oh that didn't stop us from making wing in the next game well, at least that shot feathers. Or maybe Kirby Superstar was made before this. I don't remember. Do 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 do. Flying into the sky. Or rather, up a corridor of some sort. Hello, guys. What's up? 
apparently not letting me through is up. And there's only one of you! Wow, my vision is defunct. Oh god. Stop doing that. These guys seem to be troublesome. And Choo Choo can't fly with crap. As was reiterated by me saying it again. So yeah. Hello guy, you are now excessly dead. What? No, I have a giant axe of death. This is probably advantages to have. At least if you know how to use axes by having a proficiency in axes skill. Also, you sort of need it to progress in the level for some reason. It's like, hey, let's give you an ability and then make it Im and make it Im like required to progress a foot later in the stage if you were measuring the stage in human terms. This seems like a great idea of stage design. I don't know why we thought of it, but it's okay, I guess. Yeah, actually, it's kind of dumb. Anyway, oh yeah, that's right. Choo Choo can't fly with crap, and this section is like, you gotta fly! La 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 la! Seriously, guys. Why do you do this to me? Grab onto the ceiling. Grab it. There we go. What? No. You freaking blob! You are useless! What? No. No. Fooey. Fiddlesticks and chum bunnery. I should stop making up words. <sighs> oh, yeah. We can just do this. Whoa! Okay, so we can't just do that. We have to do it with caution and extreme sense of danger. Hello, I am harmless to you. Because you are dead now! And if you are dead, I cannot harm you anymore. Aha! Grab onto the ceiling and let us traverse the heights. Kirby is... that just really weird. Stop killing me, guy. Ah, who? This power is kind of nice. I guess it hits a wide range of locales with its icy power of eliminating enemies, which is the same thing that every other power does, coincidentally. It just does it in a different way. Sort of like classes in your generic more figure. But anyway, enough of whatever I was doing. Let's progress through here. Timing is everything! Wow, that was so difficult. I am crapping my theoretical virtual pants in anticipation of more difficulty. Hey, look, it's Mama Blob Chew. Whatever. I'll just leave the blob to relate to its in laws abandoning it for my video games. Because that is how parties and relationship having should go. Oh look, it's Rob! Hi Rob, you're in Smash Bros. Brawl, did you know that? Anyway, this is the level where there's like tons of complicated stuff you have to do in order to do things. But first we have to get to the large room with that green blob in the middle that shoots you around. You'll see what I mean when I get there. Kirby turns blue when he uses ice. Wow, I didn't notice that a second ago. Uh, yeah. Too bad this isn't Kirby 64 where you could use spark and move at the same time. That was pretty cool. Walk into my electric death, please! Thank you very much! You can also subscribe to my magazine. Subscription. Apparently, electricity from Kirby beats electricity from the thing that Kirby gets electricity from. Which basically means that Kirby is god-moding. So, um... Yeah. Ah! Sand conveyor belts are the worst invention I've ever seen Mother Nature pull off in a video game. So it's more like Cousin Nature. Because they're in charge of fictional environments instead of the real one. Hello, Pyramid of Power! How are you doing today? Can I have a Triforce Pieces? Oh look, it's falling death balls. That sounds bad. But fortunately, they're easy to avoid. Hey, there, a cool background. Ah! I'm not hasty enough to dodge the... Whoa. This is crazy. Here's the room. Random water. Everyone loves random water. Yay! Okay. So first of all, upper left... Wait. Let's see here. Do, do, do. The bottom room contains all the animals and powers that we need to access the parts in the other rooms. 
parts of Rob, that is. Holy crap. Hey, guy, kill me so I can have full health. Thank you, and good night. Yay, for death on purpose. Cool j cool beans. All right. We're going to save here, because why not? Um, to Kind and Spark. That's what we're going to get first. Hello, Cutter Guy. Cease your existence. It's offensive to me, and... Speaking of ceasing existence, this is the end of the video because of time limits. Don't you love those? Thank you and good night for the second time.